Hey, welcome back Imran Web Squadron. What if you have a client that does not want to pay your deposit? It happens, right? Start the job once you've decided that, you know, you've got a spec or how you're going to work on this web design project or any project really, not just web design, you might want to deposit. 30%, 40%, 50%. We go with 50%. Because we want to know that our time is secure and that we're not just going to be left hanging later on. So we say to the client, you've got to pay 50% deposit. We have had clients and people that kind of go, whoa, hold on. Why should we pay a deposit? We don't even know that we like what you do. We don't even know what we're going to get. What if we don't like it? You know, can we have a refund? And I have to kind of pull them back a bit and remind them that I'm putting in time and effort your colors, your branding, your logo, getting things to fit, your spec, interpreting it as well. I'm putting in my time. And the analogy I always give them is, well, there's quite a few analogies and I'll run through them. The, the, the key one is if you're a business, an office, you know, in the health or the police or wherever, and you hire in a consultant to complete a project or to help you with a project, you're probably paying a day rate or a week rate, or a month rate, I don't know, you're paying something. And at the end of that period, whether the project is delivered or not, and a lot of you are going to say, whoa, hold on, we would not accept that. Let's be realistic here. You might employ someone to do a project. That project, okay, whether it is fully delivered or not, you're still going to be paying for their time. Whether you like it or not, well, that is how consultancy works, okay? So if they're going to do that for a consultant, why is it that web designers are seen to be different? Why is it that if we say we need a deposit, sometimes clients get a bit funny about that? I don't want to pay a deposit. I don't know what I'm going to get. So the second analogy I throw back is look at their business. They might be selling products. They may be a lawyer, a barrister, an accountant, something like that. And when I say, or, or an interior designer. And I say to them, right, so would you do an interior design for someone for free before they've paid you your deposit? And the answer is always no. What about the barrister and lawyer? Are you going to like um, a book an appointment for an hour or two in your diary without taking a deposit or full payment? They won't. They want the deposit, don't they? Or like I said, if you're selling products in a shop, are you going to let someone walk in, fill up their basket, walk out again? after they've, you know, given you their address and details, let them test it out before they pay for it. And of course, there are businesses out there that do it. Try before you buy. But they are big businesses, right? They have lots of things in place where they almost don't really give a damn whether you like it or not. They're going to make money either way, right? But when you look at shops, consultants, other businesses out there, experts, they take a deposit, okay? Um, we had to get architecture plans done for our extension. We had to pay a deposit. That architect was not going to lift a finger without taking a deposit. And we don't think twice about it, do we? Interior design, you pay a deposit. You know, if someone's going to formulate a plan for you. Hey, Ikea, you have to pay in advance before you get an interior design one hour appointment with anyone. But you do it. You don't think about it. But when it comes to web design, there is almost a little bit of a mindset where people go, yeah, but what if I don't like what you do? And I have to challenge them a little bit and say, so if I give up two days of my time and you don't like what you get, even though we are going to discuss before we start to make sure we do do something that you do like, I don't deserve payment. And if I get, if I start to get a feeling that this is going to be one of those situations where I'm having to defend my skill, my expertise and what I do to be rightfully paid for it, I walk away. So if any of you, and I, you do message me quite a lot of you, I've got a client, I've got a potential project, but they don't want to pay a deposit. I quite frankly say walk away because they will always say to you, yeah, but I know loads of people who don't want a deposit. Well, you know what? They can go and use them then because most of the time it ain't even true. Get that deposit. It is your time, okay? And remember, your 50% deposit should, in effect, cover off the entire cost for the project. So at the when you get the final 50%, 
treat that like extra gravy profit money, okay? So please don't start any projects without getting a deposit because you might live to regret it. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.